Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm going to be showing you how to verify a SHA-256 hash. So two things you're going to need to do. You're going to need to open up a PowerShell window, which you can just do by typing in PowerShell in the search bar, which is pretty easy. And then a window like this will come up. And then you're going to want to make sure that on the website of the file that you're downloading, they have the hash listed there. So obviously SHA-256 is what we want. Now you're going to want to select the directory that you downloaded the file to. So for me, it was desktop. And then you can just check with LS. And you see it's right there. I'm just going to clear the screen. But I copied the file name because this is going to be faster in a minute. You'll see. But what you're going to want to type is git file hash. And then you can either type out the file by hand or I had it copied. But if you type it out by hand, make sure that you have these quotation marks. So I'm just going to paste it in there. And then you'll see that's blue. And you don't have to type out SHA-256. You don't have to declare the algorithm for that because the default for PowerShell is actually SHA-256. So just hit enter and then it'll take a minute and then bam the hash pops up so you can either like read each character one by one and verify it by that that's really inefficient though so you, i'm just going to hit Control c and copy this and then Control f and then paste it in here and you'll see a perfect match and now you know that this file has not been tampered with after you've downloaded it and you can extract it safely so yeah thanks for watching and i hope this was helpful